Arturia just updated their effects collection and we have two interesting plugins. We're gonna see the first one in this video, it's called Dist Tube Culture. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugin special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Best TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks down here, the new function and support the channel. Let's get to the video. This tube culture, does the GUI reminds you of something? Even though it's not official, this appears to be a plugin emulation of the Thermionic Culture Vulture, which is, in my personal opinion, a kind of misunderstood piece of gear. The original unit is a full tube enhancer, color box, let's call it this way. I never owned one myself, but I used at least a couple of versions. They have different editions for the Culture Vulture. And while people have been successfully using it for tubas, in my personal opinion, was never really a two bus oriented piece of gear, to be honest, but more a full tube distortion effect. Yes, it can be subtle, but the sweet spot for subtle, which is what I would want to use on two bus, it's kind of small, all right? So you don't have that much wiggle room. While if used for special distortion effects, I find it has a wider range of options. So let's take a look at the plugin. We have a cool realistic GUI that mirrors the original unit and it's resizable. We have a dry knob, a bias knob, a four position function for triode, pantod one, pantod two, and pantod three. We have a presence air on off for top end enhancement. We have an output and a mix knob. As all the Arturia plugins, we also have an advanced panel, so functions that are not present in the original hardware unit. We have an input set of filters, low cut and high cut. These would be pre-distortion, okay? And as you turn them, you can see the graphic right there in the middle. We have a dynamic section that can be either gate or comp, not both. And I find that comp is key to get the sound right with this plugin. And then we have an output set of filters, same low cut and high cut, and you can see it in the graphic. And we also have a tilt filter here. While this plugin has few knobs and is fairly intuitive to use. It's not exactly straightforward, especially when we talk about these two knobs here, the distortion section, the drive, and the bias knobs, especially because these two controls along with the function selector heavily interact with each other. The dry knob adjusts how hard the virtual input tube is driven and usually produces more distortion. All depends on the two other controls though, we will see that. Think of the dry knob as a pre-gain or a mic preamp or a guitar amplifier, while the bias knob adjusts the virtual amount of current directed into the tube. Musically speaking, this adjusts the thickness or the structure, I wanna say, of the type of distortion. And you will hear, and you will hear more drastic changes when the function selector is either on P1, P2, or P3. The bias amount is displayed in milliamps here in the center meter, just like the hardware unit. And one thing to pay attention is, as you turn the bias clockwise, you basically starve the tube. You can see a white line right here under the number, okay? You can see when I turn it clockwise, you basically reduce the current directed into the tube. So it's kind of backward. That's why I said it's not as straightforward, but also you'll hear it's not exactly linear. It's not like a one has more and 11 has less. Because it changes the structure, it's kind of unpredictable and it's very program dependent. We'll see that in a second. The function selector instead selects from triode, which is the settings that you wanna use for general enhancement, uh, tube enhancement if you want. While P1 favors more odd harmonics and it produces a harsher and more edgy distortion. P2, Pantone 2 can do everything from subtle distortion to overboard. And P3 is almost a rectifier. And it's definitely the most aggressive and harsh of the three. Like we said, we also have an output knob, self-explanatory, so is the mix knob. Without further ado, let's try this. We'll start with the factory default settings on an aggressive rap. The final boss type, you silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. Yeah, some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's robbing season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down. Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out. I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown. 
All right, the default settings, you can hear it does add a nice sheen to it, quite some harmonic to it. And we have the presence switch on by default and also the tilt, it's slightly darkened and I think it's a good default starting point because the unit tend to add a lot of top end and high mid harmonics. Let's try playing with it. The final boss type, you silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice. Yeah, some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's Robin season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down. Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out. I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown. And I'm OG like Montana. I don't mean French or Henna, more like Tony from Havana. Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs, I got my Cody's with the handguns, the puppet police if they act tough. P1. The final boss type, y'all silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. Yeah, some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's Robin season. I'ma beat them. Fucking knock them down. Make them okay, you notice this? What I what I said at the beginning in the intro. By turning the bias clockwise, you start the tube, and depending on where the function selector is, it starts to break and actually cut the signal. This is how the hardware unit works. P2. The final boss type. Yeah, silly, trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. Yeah, some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's Robin season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down. Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out. I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown. And I'm OG like Montana. I don't mean French or Henna, more like Tony from Havana. Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs, I got my Cody's with the handguns, the puppet police if they act tough. Cause we got like four keys in the back of the OG. We roll deep, man, it go deep in the bang bus. We're so street like gold teeth and bandana, so please, y'all so weak, y'all like both knees on a grandma. Okay, definitely this is a unit where I would 99% of the time probably use the mix knob, so I'm glad that it's there. Yeah, it's been a long night and the mirror's telling me to go home. Oh. But it's been a long time since I felt this good on my own, yeah. And years run by my hands tied up in your ropes forever and ever no more. The midnight sky is the road I'm taking Head high up in the clouds I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone Oh no, don't need to be loved by you Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue Oh no You hear using Panto 2 there's kind of a sweet spot that goes between six and a half and eight and a half where it's kind of the structure of the distortion is But it's been a long time since I felt this good on my own, yeah You hear around eight where I have it now it both preserves the original dynamic and the distortion itself it, it reacts very dynamically to the material, I like that the midnight sky is the road I'm taking Head high up in the clouds I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone Oh no, don't need to be loved by you Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue Oh no, don't need to be loved by you See my lips on her mouth, everybody's talking now Baby. Ooh. Yeah, very cool when used in parallel uh, on vocals. I'm noticing you need to really, really watch the S's because it seems like it brings up a lot, a lot of harshness in that range. And I notice it in the other vocal as well. So maybe if you want to use it like that, you can uh, copy a track instead of using the mix knob and heavily DS the vocals, the second vocals, and then use it 100% and inject it as a parallel. Uh, track to it. Let's go to drums and bass.
very nice on bass. It's actually very credible, I want to say, as a tube unit. Yeah, it's a lot of intelligibility in the mid-range that will help any bass be heard in a mix without having to turn the volume too much. My favorite settings are either Triad or Pento 2. I don't find much use for P1 and P3, to be honest. Just like I didn't in the hardware, they kind of are always like too harsh for me. But they can find their use for special effect and mixed in. They kind of suck out too much uh, power in the low end. I like how dynamic the triode is. It has a pretty wide range and it breaks very slowly when you turn the dry knob. So you have wiggle room there. Let's try drums. Nice, it sounds pretty good on drum and very, very credible tube behavior. Let's try the dynamic section here. The comp gives you that classic smash sound and the gate can be useful if you want to add a little bit of dirt without overflowing the signal with distortion. I want to try one of the P1 and P3 functions to do that. Definitely interesting. Let's try on a, on a loop or something. See, on stuff like this, you can try to be very creative and kind of try to catch just the hi-hat, for example. Let me try. And just blend that in. It's kind of cool. What about an 808?
T1 sounds really nice on this. So you, especially on a sine wave like this or an 808, you can hear the different collections of harmonics that each function give you. Really interesting. Nice thickness, the triad, nice thickness, the triad mode, and at the same time, it's kind of have uh, um, a richer mid range. I like it. It's very unique how it distorts the low mid range. I can think of a handful of records that I really, really like that have that kind of distortion in the in the low mid range. Right now in all my example, I'm using slightly exaggerated settings so you can hear the character from uh, the video from YouTube. But if you back the settings a little and you are on the conservative side when using this, this probably has more uses than you would think uh, just by trying it the first 10 minutes. I like it, but as usual, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. The link to Arturia Distube Culture is gonna be in the info box down below as well. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks new function down here, supporting the channel. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Hands on